Senator Walls. Thank you, Madam President. Madam President, ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, it is almost five in the morning. And as we approach the dawn of a new day, it has been a dark night in the Iowa Senate. During debate on legislation introduced by Senate Republicans to roll back protections against illegal child labor in Iowa, Senator Bill Dotzler asked the floor manager of this bill, Senator Adrian Dickey, to yield to a question about the legislative intent of an amendment that Republicans filed to Senate File 542 just earlier in the day. For the first time that anyone in this chamber can remember, the floor manager refused to yield to that question, effectively blocking open discussion of this high-profile bill. This is completely unprecedented in the history of the Iowa Senate. Now, Senate Republicans are telling us that this was due to recent rulings from the Supreme Court that referenced the debates that happened in this hollowed chamber in the words that we say on this floor. As a result of those rulings, members of the Republican majority will no longer answer questions about legislative intent. Senate Republicans are afraid that these words will be used by the Supreme Court in the court's rulings about state law. The refusal by Senator Dickey to answer a basic question at the heart of a last-minute amendment was a flagrant violation of how this chamber has conducted open debate since the beginning of the Iowa Senate. We were told that Senator Dickey was instructed not to answer the question out of the concern he might inadvertently say something that the Supreme Court may use to invalidate this child labor law. Kind of hard to believe, but okay. And then Senator Dickey delivers closing remarks lasting over 16 minutes where he spoke extensively about the legislative intent of the bill. And we were told that he, in fact, did have an answer to the question that was asked by Senator Dotzler, but that he refused to extend a fellow senator and the Iowa public the basic decency of answering. Since the inception of the Iowa Senate, open debate has always been an essential part of our democratic process, allowing for the exchange of ideas and opinions from senators of every political stripe. The purpose of this debate is to publicly discuss legislation, to debate its pros and cons, and to propose amendments like those from Senator Dotzler and Senator Peterson that improved this bill. Senate Democrats condemn in the strongest possible terms the Senate majority's political decision not to answer basic questions about high-profile legislation. If you're worried about the Iowa Supreme Court's understanding of what is said on the Senate floor, the answer is not to stop answering questions. The answer is to tell the truth and admit when you don't know the answer. Thank you, Madam President.